Hi there, it's Rob here from azimuthltd.ca. This is my first video blog. I hope to do more of these in the near future. Um, I'm going to be showcasing hardware and software that I believe increases productivity in the surveying and construction industry. And I'd like to have this uh, information open source. Um, this won't be, I won't be affiliated with any particular brand, Topcon, Leica, Trimble. This is going to be an objective view of the hardware and software available to the survey world today. So, today we're going to be looking at Topcon's new data collector. It's called the Topcon Tesla. As you can see, it's in a tablet form. This is a 5.7 inch VGA touchscreen. Um, and it's very, very bright. You can see I pressed this button up here in the top right corner. And we've got an extremely bright screen. Um, I've used this for approximately 14 hours in broad daylight. I uh, looked at it through sunglasses and had no issues viewing all of the information that I needed to look for. Um, over here you've got a camera button. This actual unit is equipped with a 3.2 megapixel digital camera in a situation where you need to pick up a little bit more data in, a, in visual form for the people in the office. Sometimes it supplements your notes. And right here you've got a key which opens up a rich text editor. So you can actually click here, type any note that you need, whether it's a culvert size type or a, a, an invert down from a manhole lid. You can put that in here. Um, obviously, I would encourage you to keep those notes in your physical field book. Um, and this should be used as a secondary source of uh, keeping notes. Now, on the bottom here, you've got these seven keys. From the left, you've got the home key. Obviously, brings you back to this home menu, depending on which software you're in. Um, this is your left programmable key. Right now, it's, uh, it's programmed for the uh, uh, Topcon Magnet software. It's the new field-to-office, office-to-field data collection software. Um, based on TopServe. Um, here you've got the portrait to landscape button. And I can certainly appreciate this button because a lot of modern tablets have accelerometers, so if you turn it, it'll automatically change uh, uh, to, to landscape in this case. I don't personally like that. I like to have control over it, so it's nice to have that button on the front. Um, this here is a simple directional pad. Um, on this screen, it just toggles through the individual buttons. But if you're in a program um, like top serve or magnet, it actually brings up a cursor which can be used to select points and lines accurately in the case that you don't have your stylus with you. Because you can see here like all of these buttons here are very large so if you need to click them without the use of the stylage, stylus you can. They're all very, uh, very easy to press with just your finger. So as we go along here's your back button, uh, very standard, useful in uh, most software packages. And right here you've got your right programmable button. In this case, um, we've got Internet Explorer. Uh, so we're actually looking at my blog because we are connected to Wi-Fi. So we'll just press home, go back to the home screen. And then right here, obviously, is your power button. Pretty straightforward, pretty standard. You press it once and it turns the screen off. Um, useful to save battery in the field. And I, I have to say, I've used this unit in the field for approximately 14 hours. The battery lasted the entire time and I still did some calcs um, before the battery died when I got back to where I was staying. So, uh, very good battery life for the, the brightness of the screen. Um, overall, it's a very functional package. I don't foresee you needing to recharge this midway through the day, um, but you never know, put a long day in, you might drain the battery. From what I've seen, it works pretty good. So I'll just go around and show you a couple more things. Here on the side are your, uh, your plugs. You can see they're all protected by pretty sturdy dust protectors. So from the far left, you've got your power, you've got your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Uh, right here is your nine pin connection. Uh, not used as commonly anymore, but it's there if you need it. Here you've got your USB, which is obviously a must have for a data collector of this generation. And there's your mini SD, or sorry, mini, U, uh, mini USB right there. And that's not micro, that's mini, in case you were wondering. So the unit itself is IP67 rated, so for international standards for dust and waterproofing, it's it's pretty high up there. It's up there with Topcon and Leica units, so it's very sturdy. I've never had any problems with Topcon's hardware, um, but I do hear people say with the original stuff, the older stuff, that it wasn't as sturdy as Leica or Trimble. This is very sturdy. I really like the way it feels. I feel like if I drop this thing two meters, nothing will happen to it. And that's how survey equipment should feel. So going around, you've got these nice contoured areas for your hands. So if you're using it um, for doing some calcs in the field, you can actually just put your hand in the strap. 
and you can hold it nicely for doing any kind of Kogel calcs. Um, on the back you've got this RAM unit. This is a, a bracket manufactured by the company RAM. You might be familiar with their laptop uh, mounting systems. And this works really nicely because you just uh, you just unscrew the connector from your, your pogo pole and loosen it up a bit and you can swivel this unit on that ball. Um, so if you're in the field you can easily put it in landscape mode if that works best for you. Loosen it and turn it to portrait if that suits you better. So that's my overview of the hardware, the new hardware developed by Topcon and Juniper Systems. Um, overall, very impressed with it. Um, I've used many data collectors and uh, so far I've never used a, a data collector with such a, a brilliant screen that works so well with, uh, with the survey software. Um, obviously excellent for topos, excellent for, for layout because you've got all the data there. Um, very user friendly, very easy to access all the functions that you need. Maybe in a later video I'll go through Magnet and TopServe, um, but at the moment I'm not quite familiar enough with it to feel comfortable doing a video. Uh, maybe if I put a couple more hours I'll get to that stage and I'll let you guys know. Well there you have it, the new TopCon Tesla data collector. And thanks for watching my very first video blog.